Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do um, an if then else statement, and then what we're going to do is a video on functions. And then after that video on functions, I think we're going to do a video on classes. And I think that will get us a, uh, a good introduction, and we can delve out from there do our other items, but I think that it gives us a good foundation uh, for where we can go in, in Delphi. Um, so I'm just going to get a couple boxes here. Yeah, we'll get a button and we'll get a label. Wish this would drop where I drop them. Seems like it's off for some reason. I drop it here, it shows up over there. I don't know why that is. So we've been through the hello world and we've done variables. We're going to use variables today. And um, again, we're going to work on if then else type logic. So again, we've got some code that's generated here. Mainly it's around the form. And we have instances of our edit fields um, and our, our label and our button. Uh, there's nothing for when we click the button, we go to design. When we double click uh, the button, Delphi creates the code for us here. And this is where we're going to do our if then else. Um, first of all, uh, we're going to cre create some variables and um, we're not going to do that in the button. We want them to have global scope. So we're going to go up here on this form and we're going to create the variables there. So anything on the form will have access to the variables, including like the uh, label and the edit field. So we'll create a uh, and this right here creates the space for them. defining it incorrectly there we there we go so this creates the space for an integer uh, at address a we're going to do a b i could do this on one line but we'll keep it straight here all right so we have three integers and we have three uh, text fields. So, you know, the, the way to do this, we could take uh, integers, put them in the text box, convert it from a string, because again, anything that is input into a text box is a string, and then take that string and convert it to an integer. Um, we can we can do that and then uh, work with them that way. So let's say um, Edit one dot text. And this is an assignment. Doing this backwards. I don't know what's going on there. So we're going to get the text from the text field, um, convert it to an integer, and then uh, put that in address A. We're going to do the same for B and C. So let's just see how this works real quick. Kind of test as we go through this. Okay, everything is fine. All right. So now what we're going to do is our if then. 
So I type if, and then it gives me this uh, statement. So it says if true. So let's say that um, true, the statement is if A is greater than B, then label one dot text is greater than B. And let's just test this out. Hmm. Okay, let's see what's going on. So we assign the text. Oh, these are edit one. So this should be edit two. So we had uh, edit one going into variable A and B, so they were equal. Now, let's try this again. So you got to put text in C as well. Normally what you do is you put some error checking code, error handling code in there to make sure that it had a, uh, a value um, before you, you know, bring it to production. Um, I don't need three text boxes really for this. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Just comment this out because we're not going to use it. A and B are equal. A is greater than B. B is greater than A. So we got all our use cases done. And we did an if then statement. And then in an if then statement, you put what happens if that's true. So if A is greater than B, then you can have an else if, which is another statement of fact that you can check. So um, if A is not greater than B, then it will call else if, and it will see if B is greater than A. And if that's true, then do this. And if none of those conditions are true and you can keep stringing those out, 
Um, then the final catch-all is else label text A and B are equal. So again, quick if then else statement. Um, there's a while do while something is true. Keep doing something as well. We may go over that, but again, I think we're going to kind of go to functions and then after functions, we'll hit on classes. So thanks for uh, watching and we'll see you in the next video.